Beloved intercessor, I believe many of us will be sent to cross new frontiers. I remember when the Lord told me, all the aspects of discipleship can be done online. This was 20 years ago, and I tremble and I didn't know how to do it. My wife helped me, the team helped me, and some of you were there in the, in the early stages of this ministry, but little we knew that we will be reaching scores of nations and that we'll have hundreds of intercessors praying every single day in hundreds of groups. I praise the Lord for that. And I believe there will be several people raised by the power of the Holy Spirit that will not only plant English or Spanish groups, but they will move on to Russian, to Chinese, to Hebrew, to different languages of the world. Also, we, we are looking for missionaries that will plant more children's groups and teenagers groups and youth groups and all kinds of groups, even groups uh, for people that are in hospitals and different kinds of groups that we can reach them through their telephone or through the internet and reaching the homes as well, which is a new thing that God is doing again in Communionet. And so we are sent to cross new frontiers. Acts 22, 21, the Lord said to me, Go, for I will send you far away to the Gentiles. This was people that were not the people that Paul was part of. Paul was a Hebrew. He was a Jew. However, he was sent to another culture. And many of you can cross cultural barriers without even leaving this network, this glorious prayer network. Why? Because the Lord has put a mantle on us to embrace the world. And in order to embrace the world, we need to break through many barriers and, and cross many frontiers linguistically and racially and culturally until we connect groups from those cultures and we plant new groups. So let's go for it. Let's multiply the groups in the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you.